and welcome to Africa Largest Radio Network and you're listening to the program you love very much. What we do in the program is quite simple. We take our time to bring to you, closer to you, your favorite stars. We'll try to bridge the gap between you and your favorite stars and you ain't gonna guess who's... Yeah, who's this? <laughs> Alright, my name is Ekene Odibamo. This is your regular host on this platform. This is Red Carpet Show TV. And of course, powered by Africa's largest radio network, Radio Nigeria. Welcome to the show. And today on the show, I have... Oh, she's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm just imagining... In fact, I'm just seeing how dark I am. I can rub up some, uh, some light skin. You can be nice. Seriously. <laughs> she goes by the name Oge Omuboya. And this is your favorite show. So what's up, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going. But I, I, I just prefer the name oh, um, Ross Kimono. Yeah, it's, it's Oge like, Kimono actually. It's okay, what? Oge Kimono. Oge Kimono. What's, that? What's it about the rapping of the Rastafari language? Well, you know, Oge Kimono is actually a reggae artist, you know, from the lingua mia chat right about now. I don't know, understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll take it easy on you. Oh, well, yeah, like I said, Oge Kimono is a reggae artist, you know. Um, I've been doing music for quite some time now, you know, but I am just bringing it back home. So, uh, why, why would you want to come back home? Why don't you stay over there? I mean, uh, you have fabulous friends, you have a way, way, way wonderful people around you. Yes, because I heard that coming around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, why don't you take that kind of line and listen to drum and brass, then I listen to the other one. You're more like subtle. Mm, you know, like, um,. I, I do songs according to how I feel it, you understand? Uh, my dad is a rubber dub master, okay. you understand? And in reggae, we have different sub -genres. There is the lover's rock, there is the roots reggae, there is the dance hall, you know? So I basically do these three sub -genres, which are the dance hall, the roots reggae, and the lover's rock. Um, I, I, I didn't want to, I wanted, I did drum and bass in a subtle way that people can actually relate to because drum and bass is more like the old school reggae but I just funkified it a bit you know so that the younger people can catch in groove too you know so, you know you know how they always say reggae is for the old folks no it's not true <laughs> reggae is for everybody right okay it, it, for instance in a way your father's idea and philosophy and music do yeah. you have a way of confirming in you and how you relate to music yes i would say maybe to an extent you know but um me having to choose to do reggae music is uh definitely a one-on-one -on -one connection that i had to make by myself you know um growing up as a kid I, I wasn't a big fan of reggae music i know like on my birthdays i would even rather have <laughs> tina turner being played on my birthday because i was big into country music you know and blues but um as time went on at, at the age of uh 15 i started listening to reggae like real good you know taking time to listen to the lyrics and everything and i started identifying with it and i said okay this is what i really want to do and you love it i love it <laughs> I love it without any apology. <laughs> so, when you talk about reggae, now what comes to the first thing that comes to your mind is what? The colors or of the, course, the, the, the language? The red, gold, and green colors. Okay, yeah. I ain't got that. I got black and silver. Well, wow. <laughs> it's, it's alright still. No, we'll still come back to you. Reggae music is a culture, you know? It's a culture. I think every music is actually a culture. Hip hop is a culture too, you know? And um, reggae music has got a, it's, uh, the origin has been dated back since 1950s, you know. It only came wow. out like properly in the 60s, which of course the legendary himself, Bob Marley, did bring to the forefront, you know. But uh, reggae has, has been an old time kind of music. And it's, it's, it's um, I think it will also interest the viewers to know that uh, reggae was actually made from the, some elements, some music elements, African music elements and Caribbean music, um, yeah, Caribbean music elements, Caribbean in the sense, uh, salsa, you know, All bachata, combined into... Yes, but the, the, the origin of reggae music is actually an infusion of African music elements and Caribbean music elements. So, yeah. your own kind of reggae now has a lot of soul and jazz on the tune? Uh, not really, not really, because, okay. uh, like I say, I, I actually sing the way I feel, you know, when I hear a beat, we call it rhythm, when I hear a rhythm, you know, and uh, I, I vibe according to how I feel <laughs> about it right there. <laughs> she vibes according to what she hears. <laughs> True. She's working on her own path, 
and she's Oge Kimoto. Yeah. Are you the last born or the first one? Oh, oh man, me is the first offspring <laughs> of the man himself. Yes, so you should be oh, more like a legend. Uh, <laughs> like that when, when you Why don't place me too high yeah. before they chop me down? <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, 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 how do you feel like when people say, "Oh, that's Kimono's daughter," and you're like, "Okay." Okay, funny enough, yeah, I uh, I have always been shying away from that fact, you know. Like, I I really I'm proud to be Rest Kimono's daughter, understand? Yeah. But I really don't um, appreciate it. When people see me and say, ah, that's Rescue Mono's daughter, you know what I mean? Like, ah, that's okay. You <laughs> said that it's okay, not because it's Rescue Mono's daughter, okay. you understand? So, oh, take us into the world of the Kimono's family. Well, Kimono's family, uh, we have a very, very beautiful family, and um, I think my dad is the best dad in the world. Because <laughs> the relationship I have with my dad is more like a boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, brother and sister. You know, we can talk to ourselves. We can, I can tell my dad anything, he can tell me anything, you know. Nice. It's not like the regular Nigerian family where when the kids hear daddy's around, everybody starts crying. <laughs> no. So we, when we like... hear daddy's around, <laughs> Daddy has to come play with us, man. Daddy has to come and crawl on the nice. floor. Daddy has to roll. You know, Daddy has to do all the stupid things that we do. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Um, you growing up? My growing up was um was quite interesting. Uh, I I was born in Lagos. I was born in the General Hospital in Lagos, um, and then I moved down to the east. I grew up in a bar. Grew up with my grandma actually for I stayed with her for a while then I moved back to Lagos because then I mean dad was so busy he was always mm -hmm. on the road you understand of course he did come to come and visit and stuff but it was safer for me to stay with my grandma which also kept me away from the eyes of the media because nobody yeah, knew right, right, right. Exactly. I, I, I just like hey, exactly yeah, so um yeah, growing up was really, really fun, you know, without all that paparazzi and everything going on around you and no news being... Yeah, I said about you. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was it was really nice, it was really nice. I grew up in a bar, I went to a very good school in a bar, you know, and then moved back to Lagos after my high school education and everything. So, your favorite meal? Ha! <laughs> I would so sure. say... Is it African or continental? <laughs> Generally, uh, there's a particular food you just hear about like, oh no, I'm, 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 I'm not just going to, in fact, I'm doing it right now. Oh shit, I have lots of food. I love food. You love food? I love food. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't know which to choose and leave. Okay, let's have an intercontinental dish. Um, maybe lasagna or no, spaghetti. Then, um... Natural food, cultural, uh -huh. typical Nigerian food. There are lots of food I love. Can, can I choose three? Okay. Can I choose three? Alright. Okay, Afang soup. Okay, now you love food. Anyone that loves Afang soup, I'm going to get married to get a lot of And do a lot of Afangs. Okay, I love, um, <laughs> I love Ebal Koko. Okay. And then I love uh, native soup. So, how often do you walk out? Because I was imagining somebody who's so an artist and a, a, a Rastafarian mm -hmm. as kind. There's always that idea that you need to keep fit to produce. Yeah. So, how often do you work out? I actually work out every day. Every day? <laughs> yes. Like, how many hours do you spend in the gym? I, I don't do gym. I jog. Okay. I rather go jogging. I jog for an hour and then I do uh, my routines for another hour. So, like, two hours. I work out for two hours every wow. morning. Only that in the past two weeks I haven't worked out. <laughs> You've been on the road. Yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're just joining us, you're listening to your favorite show right here on Africa's largest radio network. And of course, as you're listening, you can as well pick up your phone, pick up your Blackberry, pick up your iPod, and simply log on to youtube.com slash red carpet show TV and view the great voice you're hearing. Okay, we'll say pictures behind the voices so uh, you can see the pictures <laughs> behind the voices how wonderful we are looking yeah you know mm. <laughs> <laughs> i'm agree i'm agree i agree so it's beautiful but i understand when you look where the eagle stands you also look at the tree eagle is standing True. up on so True. that's the one i'm enjoying it too seriously 
It's yeah. good. It's good having you on the platform. Thank you very, very much. And I feel then so your idea of writing, drum and brass. What were you thinking? <laughs> drum and bass, drum and bass, drum and bass. Um, drum and bass is basically, uh, it's just the two elements of reggae music. It's the drum and the bass, you know, because like, when you listen to reggae music, if there is no drums, it doesn't sound right. If there is no bass, that's killing it. Do you understand? Sure. Like, it's, Drum just keeps the tempo of the music and uh, the melody while the bass brings the groove to it. So like, you find out that most times when reggae artists do live performance, there is a time that they actually like silence all the equip, all the uh, instruments okay. and just say drum and bass. And yeah, trust me, when you hear drum That's and bass, climax. trust me, <laughs> when you hear drum and bass, you just want to go on and on and on and on. You don't want to stop, man. Yeah, see. yeah. So that's that's that's. That's why I wrote about drum and bass. Beautiful. Let's That's see. You got some dreads. Ah, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'll make them want it. <laughs> we'll probably have to have another interview so they can find out what's in the first place. No. Isn't that shit with, with, uh, with reggae style of music? Rastafarian mm. language, then yeah. next you hear is. I, dreadlocks. Uh. <laughs> oh, yes, I have dreadlocks, but I'm not ready to expose it for you guys yet. You'll so, probably have to do something. Okay. <laughs> Do something. You have to vote on the second edition of the show. Good. Exactly yeah. right. Vote for the second edition and then she'll be back. Yeah, good. 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 You're never gonna look good at me anyway. So yeah. don't bother. You're funny. Okay, so this is it, and this is how we rock and roll. Yes. Remember to follow her up on Twitter at Jar Time. That is J A H T Y M. Yeah, that's good. So catch her up all the follow up on tweets. You get everything you need to know about Oke Kimono. Right. And of course, you know she rocks and rolls. Give us an acapella or something like Drum and bass make me wind up my waist. Cha! Mr. DJ, come put the sound on reply. Uh, yeah. Drum and bass make me wind up my waist. Uh, Don't worry. Mr. DJ, come put the song for replay. Watch this now. Listen. Yeah. See my wine, no sweet reggae music. Cut this one sound out. Turn up the stereo. I bet you on the radio. <coughs> May bring back Robert up, come skank along. Forget your worries, like we have some fun. And have a good, good time. Remember the good old days. Remember the good old days when mama and papa them you stood up like this. You stood up like this. Chat kaboom, you never know. Kaboom, you never know. <laughs> I love that too. That's, That's good. good. <laughs> so girl, things, you love things. 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 Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> you saw this on the YouTube. Alright, thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me too. Yeah, 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 this is your girl, the reggae ambassador herself. Okay, come on, and I'm chilling with my brother, Ekena. Pan Red Show Carpet TV on Radio Nigeria, the biggest radio station in the continent of Africa. Don't touch that, that I it. Kaboom, Jablis. Kaboom, Jablis. You wanna go? Alright, now, so we'll go to return sometime next week. Until then, keep living the life of your dreams. We love ya. <laughs> <laughs>